The next presenter uh, is the most iconic artist in the history of Star Wars and works side by side with George Lucas to help establish the look and feel of the saga. Uh, he produced hundreds of pieces of Star Wars artwork, including conceptual paintings, costume designs, storyboards, and map paintings. Uh, in addition to designing Darth Vader, C-3PO, and R2-D2. Uh, presenting the award is one of the co-founders of Legacy Effects, along with the other co-founders. Uh, Alan worked with uh, supervising project at Stan Winston Studio for over 20 years before Legacy was formed, and is currently working as a co-supervisor on the latest Star Wars adventure, The Mandalorian. Please welcome Alan Scott. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I had to write this down because I'm not great with public speaking. Um, when I was first asked to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to Ralph McQuarrie, I was first stumped, humbled, and honored. I never had the privilege to meet him. There had to be a thousand other people that were more qualified to present this award to Ralph. Um, those who knew him spoke to him and collaborated with him. Others have well documented Ralph's achievements, how he took George Lucas's thoughts and words and gave them form and brought them into the real world. I can't speak to those experiences, but I realized I knew Ralph from a very different perspective. Lifetime, Achievements Award, Lifetime Achievement Awards recognize the contributions of a person over the whole of their career. I think it's important to realize that Ralph's contributions were not just artistic, and his contributions were not just over his lifetime, but he contributed to the lives of hundreds of millions of other people in the process. Ralph's art didn't just bring imagined characters to life, his art changed actual lives. <clears throat> his imagination and his talents and his work influenced and changed the course of all of our lives. It changed our emotions as we watched his films. It changed what we talked about when we came out of the movies. It changed what we dream about. It affected what we did for hobbies and how we chose our career paths. Ralph's work affects us. It touches us. A good number of us in this room probably have tattoos of the characters that he created. But beyond just touching our skin, his work has touched our hearts, our minds, and our imaginations. Ralph's work has changed the course of my life and millions of others when he created the first paintings for Star Wars. Most of the people on the planet know his characters. Darth Vader, C-3PO, R2-D2 are household names all over the world. The mere fact that everyone knows his work means that it altered and affected their lives. <clears throat> in small ways, and in some cases, life-changing ways. That is a profound effect for one man's artistic work to have on his fellow man. And now, having been changed, altered, and influenced by him, our work is now changing and affecting other people's lives in the same ways. These changes may be small, momentary entertainments, or they may be larger, more impactful, and longer lasting. This ability to stimulate, influence, and change people's perceptions, their imaginations, and the course of their lives. These are true lifetime achievements. And this is what we are celebrating here today. Accepting the award as is Christian Alsman, a concept designer supervisor at Lucasfilm. He has worked on several of the Star Wars movies and is responsible for helping create and design the now iconic and beloved droid BB-8. Since, uh, since Ralph cannot be with us, um, Doug Chang was supposed to pick this award up. Um, Doug is unable to be with us, so I am collecting the award on behalf of Joan McCory, Ralph's wife. Um, like, like many of us, uh, I, I was a Star Wars kid. I saw Star Wars when I was five years old, and uh, that those first couple years, you couldn't get enough Star Wars imagery to to satiate a five-year-old, so I began drawing it. I had, to, I had to see more of it, and the only thing I had was a as a tool were crayons and pencils, and uh, imagine my disbelief when I found out there was a person that got paid to draw Star Wars. Um, 
I, mind blown, like this is what this guy does for a living. He draws Star Wars. Um, over the years, I realized this man, Ralph, was not only the luckiest man in the world, but also a genius. Maybe that's why he's so lucky. Um, all of his designs had such clarity and believability, and, and they were all iconic. Um, I mean, it's, it's all the things you strive for in, in concept. Um, I got to meet Ralph uh, about 15 years ago in the Star Wars archives. I'm telling you about, I'm going to tell you about my best day. <laughs> um, in the Star Wars archives, sitting down next to him, flipping through his work, his originals in the archives, and chit-chatting with him about it. And I found him to be the most gracious, humble, um, honest person when, when we were discussing artwork. I mean, uh, just with all the things he had done, I mean, this is a man who has an Academy Award and he did book covers, he worked in the aerospace industry, he, he, he did everything else besides just all this amazing film work. Um, that's not to say there wasn't a, a little bit of a grumbling designer underneath. Every now and again, we'd go through his work and and he'd have, you know, he, he wasn't thrilled with how they fabricated little incidental designs like Darth Vader's helmet. <laughs> right? And it was always, it's nice to see, it's like, oh God, yeah, we're like that all the time. It's good, it's good to, to hear that. Um, so lastly, as I wanted to say, as we're working on Star Wars projects today, Ralph's legacy lives on. I mean, in every decision we make, definitely in the art department, we practically had wristbands that said, what would Ralph do, you know? Um, so personally, I would love to thank Ralph uh, for, for, for making concept art kind of a possibility and all the inspiration he, he, he provided for five-year-olds like me and probably many, many of you out there. And on behalf of Lucasfilm, I'd really like to thank the Concept Art Awards for honoring Ralph with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you. Yeah.